In this animation we see irregular motion from this Tinkerbell character which is a very good example to show how the Optiburst plugin can be a real time saver in production. What can take a lot of time the traditional way with motion path animation can be done in real time with the Burst plugin. You can do different versions easily and while recording the other ones coming in later you can really interact with the ones you previously recorded. In this movie, I'd like to show you how I approach the animations using the Optiverse plugin. I have a little statue here in my scene, and the light up here, and if I play the animation, you can see I added a little particle system that's going to create a Tinkerbell style effect. Now I just grab and release and again it snaps back to its original position. I can grab and release so many times and I rehearse as many times as I want. So I get a good feeling of the space. And the timing. And once I'm happy, I can stop the animation, rewind back, play, hold my S key down and record it. That's going to be a good place. That one too. Fly the guy out around frame 250. Just look at what we've captured. That looks good. Now we're going to unhide the second one coming in but hide the particles because they're just going to create a mess since we're only going to play from the point where the guy flew out which is about frame 250 to the end of the animation to capture the other ones coming in see that one going out and he should be landing around five, 500 in the eye Hold the S key down. There we go. Stop. Rewind. Get the next one up. And now I can really interact with the first capture I did. Which is a lot of fun. And he lands a little later than the first one. That looks good. Grab the next one. Play the timeline. make this one land down here in the mouth yep. now since the first one has left the screen again I can re-grab that guy and capture him coming back in land as well. Flying out and coming back in. Now since when these guys landed they're gonna light up the whole scene I have created a locator in here which has generic light attached to it and I can just run the animation and record some motion onto this locator which is gonna make the general light a bit brighter once the guys start landing hit S start grabbing it, pull it up light up the scene and release 
there we go stop the animation for final watching we should switch the particles back on Now you see in the beginning there is a keyframe which makes the first guy move from zero up and move back in, which is wrong. So let me select my first one, go into the graph editor, and here's actually you can see my keyframe. It's because I overcaptured at the end and it started recording again at the beginning. I just delete that key and it should be fine. Switch back to our camera view, make it full screen, rewind the animation and play. And again burst is totally interactive so while this animation is playing, lifting my mouse up, holding my middle mouse button, I can start searching an angle from where I'm going to do the rendering for this little movie. General light goes up, my logo is lit up. Yes, thank you for your attention. <laughs>